All right, let me tell you what we've got going on here today. My book cards are disorganized. My bookshelf is still decorated for Christmas, even though we're halfway through January. Basically, I want to reorganize every single book I own. The things I've got to organize is both of my TBR cards, my bookshelf in my living room, and the bookshelf in my bedroom. I want to start on my bookshelf in my bedroom first, just because it's bothering me so much that it's decorated for Christmas. I just got this bookshelf in the fall of last year. So immediately when I got it, I decorated it for Halloween. And then when Halloween passed, I decorated it for Christmas. So this bookshelf has only been decorated for holidays, which it was really fun to keep redecorating it. But I now would like it to be decorated just neutrally to where I can leave it until the next major holiday. Because it's spring and Valentine's Day is coming up, I think it'd be really cute to do like really bright, fun books on the shelf. Romance books, I feel like always have really bright, fun colors. So I might prioritize romance books here. And the thing I'm debating between most is if I want to make this bookshelf all books that I haven't read or like my favorite romance books that I've already read. I don't know. I can't decide. That's the part I'm really torn on. But I think for now, I'm just going to take all the books off this shelf and then decide how exactly I want to organize and decorate it. This is a series I really want to read soon. It's the Dreamland Billionaire series. I read the first book and then I have the other two books left. I don't know what it is about just like super rich people in books. I think it's so interesting. I guess it's just reading about like a very extravagant and different life than my own. That is so fascinating. The characters in these books, their family owns an amusement park, which is so cool. And if you like this series or other books that transport you to a world of extravagance and wealth, I would really recommend checking out Monopoly Go. Monopoly Go is an app where you can play as a tycoon and earn Monopoly money. You can also interact with friends and family, build houses and hotels. I've actually been playing Monopoly Go since long before Monopoly Go reached out to me to sponsor this video. And I just love that it feels like a really cozy gaming session where you can build your very own millionaire experience. I also think it's really cool that you can play solo or with family and friends. It's a great way to have fun with and interact with loved ones. And probably the most fun part is that you can choose between good and evil. You can be kind and help your friends, play the game like a goodie, or you can just create absolute chaos. It's very choose your own path, which is quite cool. And I feel like you guys would like that as book lovers. I've always played the game kind, but now I'm like, hmm, maybe I want to be the villain. That would be so fun. I also love that it feels like the classic Monopoly board game that we all know and love, but it also has its own twists and unique gameplay and characters. There's also tournaments and hourly events. So it's really cool that every day brings new ways to play. And you can stall Monopoly Go by scanning the QR code on the screen or clicking the link in my description. Thank you again so much to Monopoly Go for sponsoring this video. I'm trying to get into more hobbies in the new year and cozy gaming is one of them. So I'm probably gonna be playing a lot more Monopoly Go this year. Okay, let's get back to taking all the books off my bookshelf. I'm almost done. One half is complete, just got this side to go. This bottom shelf is just full with books. You can't really see it because it's hidden by the chair, which is great for storage, but then also because I can't see the book, I don't even think about reading these books. Like I don't even know what's down here. I'm gonna take them all out, but then I'll probably end up putting the books down here that I'm not interested in reading anytime soon. Okay, there are books everywhere, which is overwhelming me a little bit. I think I'm gonna organize the books already on the ground into piles just by like genre, books I've already read, stuff like that, books I don't wanna read. In this video, I do wanna accumulate quite a pile of books to unhaul, basically just like books to get rid of that I don't think I'm ever gonna read. So yeah, I'm gonna make different piles with these books and then I'm gonna take all the books off my book carts and do the same. Organizing all these books is making me both excited and intimidated because there's literally so many of these books that I want to read like right now, which is like getting me excited because I want to read like 5 million books, but I'm also like, I cannot possibly read 5,000 books, at least not super soon. So I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I going to prioritize which books I'm going to read next? That's not even a part of today's video. It's just an overwhelming thought. Also look at all my cool Prince books. I love them so much. One of my favorite series. I'm making some tough decisions on books to put in the unhaul pile. It's so hard to decide. Honestly, it's really not. There's books that I just owned for so long and it's like I'm never gonna read them if I've owned them for this long. Most of my 
books are romance, fantasy, or mystery, but then I have some random books like Down the Drain by Julia Fox, which is a memoir. I think it's the only memoir I currently own that I haven't read, so it's just gonna be the solo book in its pile for its genre. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I thought organizing all these books into piles would make me feel better. Like, okay, we've got some order going on, I can do this. But no, it feels so overwhelming. There's so many books. Look at all these books. I know it looks like there's no order to them, but they are in genre piles. So far, these are the books I think I'm gonna give away. I need to go through them all and read some reviews and make sure I wanna give those away. And I might end up adding more to this pile just as I keep going through all these books. We've got general fiction, nonfiction, fantasy, romance is definitely the biggest section, a little mystery section. And then these two stacks are books I already read and I'm gonna move them to my bookshelf in my living room. I'm gonna do that now just so they're not in the way one last stack of books that i have to look at books i've already read will be dealt with later okay because i want my shelves to be primarily romance books or just like fun like colorful books colorful spines i think i'm going to take all my fantasy books and put them on my green book cart same with the mystery books non-fiction fiction just gonna put them on book cards since those probably won't be going on my main shelf. But if any of them have like fun colored spines, I may save them for the bookshelf. This is a little chaotic. Okay, filling my green book cart in three, two, one. Done. I organize them by genre and also priority of what I want to read first. This top row is the fantasy books that I'm most excited about reading next. I'm literally so excited about all these books, so excited. And then this second row is kind of like my second tier, excited about fantasy books. And the last row is mysteries. Okay, I am so excited that I have finally done the majority of organizing and I feel like I'm organized enough to be able to start on these bookshelves, which is the part that I'm most excited about. I made a pile of books in front of me that are mostly romances that I'm looking to read next and or books with like really colorful spines or covers that I think would look really fun on this bookshelf. I don't really have a plan outside of making this like a spring romance vibes bookshelf. Oh, did I tell you guys? I did post on TikTok being like so indecisive about how I want to organize this bookshelf shelf and everyone pretty much told me to make it a tbr shelf so most all of these books are books i have not read yet which i think is the right choice because i love to sit here and read so i think it's nice to be able to sit here look over at my shelf and be able to pick a book off the shelf that i want to read next anyway i think i'm just going to start playing around with ways to organize this shelf and i'll just update you guys as i go i have a bunch of like candles and random knickknacks that would also be fun to add to this shelf as well one thing I really love displaying are series. I think they look so good together because obviously all the books match, they're the same height. So I pulled three series that I'm in the middle of to put on my bookshelf. So this will remind me to complete them, but I'm also including the entire series, even the books I've already read. Oh my gosh, and this series, the Dream of the series is the same height as the Chestnut Spring series. That is so satisfying. The bookshelf is complete. Wait, hang on. It is actually, in fact, not complete. I forgot. Danny gave me this really cute candle for Christmas. It says a book club, and I think the box is so cute. And then the candle itself is also really simple and pretty, and it just says a book club on it. I think it'd be really cute to display the candle and the box. Okay, now the bookshelf is officially complete. Let me give you a tour. I think this is my favorite shelf. It's just so satisfying to see all these series stacked up together because they're all the same height and like kind of a similar color palette coincidentally. I need to read the last book, Hopeless, in the Chestnut Spring series, the last two books in the Dreamland Billionaire series, and then Twisted Hate. And I think there's a fourth book that I don't own, so I need to buy that. So all romance series I'm in the middle of and all romance series that I'd really recommend. Then on the second shelf, okay, so like I was gonna make this an entire TBR shelf of books I hadn't read. And then that plan just went out the window because I tried to decorate the shelf like 5,000 times 
times and I didn't like it. And then I was like, what if I highlight all my special editions? So these are three of my favorite special editions that I own. They all have like really fun sprayed edges and cool covers under the jacket. And then this third shelf you can't see, but it's just stacked full of books. It's like hidden by my chair, so you can't see it at all. So I just put books in there that I don't want to get rid of, but I'm not really interested in reading anytime soon. Okay, then this side of my shelves. My mom crocheted this for Christmas. I think it's so cute. You can just put it on any hardback. She also crocheted me a second one that didn't make it on the shelf, but maybe I'll switch them out at some point. And then I just put a bunch of pink romance books. And then down here, okay, this is My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey, another special edition. This book has, I think, pretty bad reviews, but it sounds really interesting. I love Tessa Bailey and I saw this cover and I was like, it's just so pretty. I have to get it. These two books, I do want to read, but not super soon. They just match this like neutral and purple cover of the Tessa Bailey book. And then this bottom shelf I think is really cute. I just organized it all with like yellow, orange, red kind of books to get like a similar color palette. And I finally organized my mug of bookmarks. Danny's mom gave me this mug for Christmas. It's so cute. It has little books on it and you can actually read that they're popular books like Pride and Prejudice, Dracula, stuff like that. It's really cute. And it matches the color palette so perfectly. And then my mom crocheted me for Christmas. This little owl, it's supposed to be Hedwig from Harry Potter. I am so happy with how this bookshelf turned out. And now that it's complete, we can finish up the rest of my books. Good morning. So this morning I finished organizing literally all my books so I can show you everything. Can you believe, can you believe we have an entire empty row on this book cart? That's crazy. I always have 5 billion books that I haven't read. So I don't think this book cart has had an empty row since I literally bought it. This is so exciting because I've always wanted to have an empty row on my book carts so I could put like my month's TBR or like the books I'm currently in the middle of. I think it's just such a great way to have like a go-to row where I can be like, these are the books I'm reading next. And the reason I was able to create an empty row is because I put so many books in my unhaul pile. Let me show you. This is so many books. I just counted and there's exactly 51 books in my unhaul pile. There's even more that are off camera. But yeah, honestly, it feels good to get rid of some books. A small amount of them are books I bought a, lot, a long time ago and just have never gotten to. And I just think if I've owned a book for years and not read it, I'm probably never gonna read it. And then a lot of books are also books that were sent to me. I love getting book mail. I'm so appreciative that I get put on so many book mail lists from publishing companies. And anytime any company or author sends me book mail, I pretty much always include their books in a book haul video, but sometimes those books that are sent to me are good books that I definitely wanna to recommend to you guys, but they may not be my kind of books. So yeah, some of these are just not really my taste. I think I'm gonna not show you any of these and I'll save them all for a giant like book unhaul video and bring them all to like little libraries. Anyway, let me finish my little tour of this book cart. So this whole row is romance books. And then there's a few romance books down here. Which books am I most excited about reading off of this shelf? Honestly, these two fairy tale retellings, I've literally said a million times that I want to read so this is love soon and I need to just actually do it because it's getting embarrassing at this point how many times I say I want to read this book soon but yeah it's a Cinderella retelling and it's basically what if Cinderella never tried on the glass slipper which is kind of the event that sets the whole Cinderella story into motion so I'm very curious how this plot is going to go down if she doesn't try on the glass slipper and then Hooked is a Peter Pan retelling and there's just so many fun characters in Peter Pan like you obviously have Peter, Wendy, Captain Hook is such a fun character so I'm really intrigued how those characters come to life in this story and it's it says that James is our main character and that Peter is his enemy, which in traditional Peter Pan, Peter's like the main character, the protagonist, but in this one, he's the enemy. So that's also like flipping the original Peter Pan just completely on its head. I think for February, I'm gonna do a video reading a bunch of romance books for Valentine's Day. So maybe I'll get to one of these two books in that video. And then the bottom row, like I said, there's a few more romance books. Oh, Love Theoretically. I actually just started Love Theoretically. I'm so obsessed with it so far. Like loving it so so much and that honestly is the perfect time to start creating my top shelf of what i'm reading right now let me move these books love theoretically is going on the shelf throne of glass i started yesterday also obsessed with it and then tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow i am also reading we're actually reading tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow in my virtual book club if any of you guys want to join i'll have it linked in the description yeah we just read a different book every month it's really fun we just chat about the books i feel like it's a great time with everyone setting their reading goals for the new year to join a book club so you can have people who motivate you to read and people to talk about books with anyway i have fiction and non-fiction honestly i'm not really excited about reading 
any of these books super soon except Down the Drain by Julia Fox. I've heard her memoir is super crazy and I've read like quotes and snippets from it. So I really want to read that soon. And then my fantasy bookshelf, I finished this yesterday and I kind of gave you a brief overview yesterday, but I want to just point out some books that I'm so excited about reading soon. Honestly, looking at this top row, I just want to read all of them right now. I would really like to read Dance of Thieves and Vow of Thieves soon. So many fantasy novels are such huge series. So I think this would be perfect. I could even just read this in like a week, which is such a low commitment for fantasy books. House of Salt and Sorrows. I think this book is pretty popular, but I really also haven't heard anything about this it says in a manor by the sea 12 sisters are cursed and then i keep saying i want to read spending silver and i need to commit and just actually read it soon it's a standalone which is the main reason i want to read it because again low commitment fantasy and then this bottom row you can't really see but these are mysteries first lie wins i really don't know much about this book but i think i've been hearing some people generally say it's really good and the summary says that evie porter has everything a girl could want a boyfriend, a house with a white picket fence, a tight group of friends. The only catch, Evie Porter doesn't exist, which is so interesting. Like, is she a con woman or does she not know that she's going by a fake identity? There's just so many directions the story could go with that plot. But yeah, that's kind of an overview of my fantasy mystery cart. I do store books like in the back of the cart behind it that I'm not prioritizing reading soon, but still don't want to get rid of. Now for the last bookshelf, my giant already read bookshelf in my living room. Let's start at the top. So on the top, I've got my nonfiction and then just any miscellaneous books. Like there's two just like general fiction kind of books here. I just read Prince Harry's Memoir Spare. This is the first book that I've officially finished in 2024. I have a video coming out next week. That's gonna be a little reading vlog of this book and the other books that I've read so far this year. And one of my favorite books in this section is of course, When Breath Becomes Air because it's the one displayed. It's a memoir, it's so good. It's about a guy who's a neurosurgeon and then he finds out that he is dying of cancer. I think I've got my fantasy shelf. I have my Caraval special edition displayed on the end. I think this is so pretty. Same with my Akatar special edition. It's a completely normal Akatar book, but the letters are embroidered. And then my two romance shelves. This stack of books is all of my new adult and young adult books. And then we've just got general romance. And then on this shelf, we have my Once Upon a Broken Heart books. The UK covers are stunning. They just don't compare to the US covers. They're so pretty. I've got a little Emily Henry section going on here. And then we've got our dark romance or like sad romance section. It's so funny. They're all like black, very obviously darker romances. And then this section, I was just putting this section together this morning. This is all summer books. Re-looking at all my summer books was making me excited for summer. I know it's literally winter right now. We kind of like just started winter, but I'm ready for summer reads. And then lastly on the very bottom shelf is all mystery books. And then I also put Christmas books here. I didn't know where to put them. This is a new addition that I, I just added this section this morning. So yeah, that's this giant bookshelf. And also the end of organizing my books and showing you guys every single book I own. If there's any books that you guys know I own that you didn't see, I also have random books just on like corners and coffee tables in my apartment. So I do own more books than this, but this was the majority of my books and all of my bookshelves slash carts. Anyway, with that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!